I was in uh, a couple stores on Wednesday and, uh, you know, walked into a beautiful Ford store, the lot, man, the cars had a perfect line. You can appreciate that, Joe. Uh, you know, uh, easy, uh, easy to find the entrance. As soon as I walked in, looked up parts over here, service over there. You know, clearly I was in front of the, the showroom. Got an SUV over here in a wagon and a convertible. And I walk over and you stand in front of an SUV and I can, I can see, you know, where to go and, and, and what to do. You know, no problem. I can navigate the physical location. But as soon as I went to that dealership's website, I had no clue what to do. And, you know, frankly, it had some, some tools that didn't look like they belonged on the website. You know, it was almost like a, the F&I office was like some kind of, you know, dungeon, you know, with like, like fire and brimstone and some kind of black, you know, uh, <clears throat> room of death. Uh, who wants to go there? But, you know, that's, that's, that's what dealers do their websites every day. You know, when you put these mismatching tools on there and you create challenges for consumers to, to navigate around or where, where, where am I? It's not comfortable. So, you know, just relating the physical space, uh, which dealers for the most part keep great care of to their virtual space, which uh, can often get very gangly and not give consumers the ability to navigate easily as well as engage and as well as learn from the experience, get context. Um, you know, why is that car good why is that car priced really well um and uh you know there's a big sticker on uh, one car that i i walked by and it said fresh new arrival right on the windshield that was context i thought that was kind of in interesting stuff so i don't think it's a rocket science to figure out um how to uh you know create a really welcoming you know online space as well